This soldier is not here to admire the scenery. He is here to keep watch. As long as it is only the wind that moves, the grass and the trees, all's well. On this pipeline, which he and his companions guard, much depends. From the water in this lake comes power for the nation's industries. On these transformers depend farm and factory, but these men are their guardians. In all weathers, they maintain a ceaseless vigil. Night and day, they are on guard. Once an army camp meant lines of tents, now it's huts. They arrive in sections ready for the army to assemble. Not many nails have to be used. That part of the work has been done already in New Zealand factories that are making these huts as fast as they can and making them from New Zealand timber. They can be put up where needed almost as quickly as a tent and there are no canvas sides to sag and leak. The job is done speedily and efficiently. With the sides up, it's next the roof. There's no trying to put up the roof first. A few final touches, a window in place, an outer covering on the roof, and the hut's finished. Army and industry have joined forces, and the job's well done. Who are these men in iron masks? They are the men of New Zealand's unarmed army. In factory and workshop, they are fighting to supply a country at war. Every day, they are turning out more and more material for the forces. Springs for guns and gun carriers. Springs that will withstand the shocks of war. Making army water bottles was new work for these men. But they have had to learn new work and new ways of work. They have had to adjust themselves to mass production, of doing only one job and doing it all the time. Welding seams on army buckets doesn't need a uniform, but it needs skill and patience. Skill to make a good job and patience to do it day in and day out. As the world spins through the fourth year of war, every man is essential. The men in the army depend on the men in industry. The army needs basins as well as bullets. Some must still be shaped by hand, others are stamped out by press. But whether it's turning out basins or castings for trailer pumps, every man, old or young, is an important link with the soldier in the desert or the gunner in the fortress. As our soldiers accept discipline to retain a nation's freedom, so these men have submitted to the ways of industry. Machine makers in a war of machines.